What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk about the VMW or the Paul's Play type washer which is a very common type of washer. If your washer has a little round Paul's Play button in the bottom right corner and six little lights it probably has this transmission in it and if you're here you're probably looking at it because it's leaking a bunch of oil on the ground or the belt's just covered in oil. That's the problem we're going to be talking about today and I do have the exact spot in this transmission i'll open up and show you where that oil is leaking by let's get started right now i did see this question originally in the appliance apprentice group and it was by a guy that i recognized and uh, if you want to go check out his channel it was journey appliance but he did this video i was noticing something while i was taking this apart this looks like the the belt is like shredding itself on like some oil um, I've never seen that before. Just kind of wondering what that's an indication of. Is that like oil from inside of the gear case or, or what? There's a lot of it there too. Um, no, I just wanted to ask a question. Uh, see if I could get an answer to what that might be an indication of. Well, Journey Appliance, I've had the exact same question. The only problem is that type of transmission, you'd have to drill 12 rivets out just to get started in it. It takes hours to do, and you'd have to be crazy to do something like that. All right, to get to this point, you don't, uh, in my opinion, I have an idea for fixing it, and you don't have to get to this point with the transmission. I think there's a way to fix the oil leak by just taking the motor only off and replacing it with grease. But before we get to that, my theory, um, let's go ahead and take it apart and see where the oil leak's actually occurring from. When you get a transmission out of this machine, the biggest problem is it has uh, rivets all the way around that pretty much makes it a sealed system that they don't want you to open it up. I have undrilled those and I've opened it up and now we're going to take a look. So basically this top will come off, bottom will come off. All right, from right here. Uh, I, now to do all this was a pretty decent project to break this down. I'll do another video if you ever want to see exactly how a transmission is broke down. Just put it down in the comments. I'll make a video on it. But just so you know how this works, I open this up and we have these gears and I've already taken the oil out of here. Let's sit that down. All right, this had, which I spilled a little bit, take this off of here, about two ounces of oil, maybe a little bit less, inside this gear case. I've drained it out so we can go ahead and pull everything out of here. So I'm gonna pull these little gears out. They're just plastic, exact same thing on both sides. And normally the oil will be sitting all on the bottom of this area. This is the same guy that normally pokes out the bottom here that the pulley is hooked onto. And if you pull this out, you'll see it's just a clean, smooth shaft, and the oil is being held back in this cylinder. Where is it being held at? It's being held back with a very small, and this is going to be hard to see, but there's a rubber piece right here, right in the beginning part here. And it's a weird size piece. I don't think it's replaceable. But instead of replacing it, what we're going to do is add grease to the system and drain out the actual oil. So to do that, what I think can be done is while this transmission is sitting here, this piece, I think you could get around it with a drill and drill this top area. You'll see there's no gears on this top area. And if you were to drill a hole right here, lay the machine on its side, let the oil drain out, and replace it with grease instead. Uh, and this is not a crazy idea. GE's, newer GE's, use a very similar transmission. And guess what? They're using grease. More than likely, I would say they're doing that to prevent this leaking that's happening over time. Because 
that shaft is just wearing through that piece of rubber until eventually it just starts pour out, pouring out oil. Uh, very, very common problem. But this is my theory is without having to pull this piece down, if you do have to pull this piece down, you could just drill these two out and bend it down, which I've already bent this down, exposing this. All you had to do then before that was just remove the engine from the bottom. So if you drilled a hole towards the top, right about there, laid it over, I think you could just drain the oil out, then take a grease gun, fill that hole with a couple squirts of grease, and then reseal the hole without whatever you're sealing it in, not letting it drip back into the gearbox. So you'd have to reseal that hole just a little bit. Although I don't think it's going to like throw out all the grease. Uh, it's not pressurized, but this will go into spin cycle and this whole thing spins during spin cycle. So even a little bit of silicone that you're careful with, uh, you could use JB Well, a little bit of overkill, but whatever it is, you wanna make sure it's not gonna push through that hole into this gearbox. So I have looked, I have not found anyone that's selling this little rubber piece is pretty well stuck on there. I'll see if I can pull it off, but I could not before. Uh, you'll see in another video where I talk about replacing these bearings. This bottom one comes out fairly easily. And the issue I had was this top one does not come off fairly easily. And I have pried and I've messed with it. And I have actually talked to a couple guys that have removed this. Uh, the biggest issue is this shaft will have to be completely cleaned of rust. And then this neck will slide off of there. This it looks like a stainless steel little keeper will slide up. And then this guy will slide up as well. But in my opinion, even though those guys, you could do it, I still think replacing the bearings, uh, if more than likely it's going to already be rusted a little bit, uh, you're going through a lot, a lot of trouble to get to that point. But to do this uh, experiment that I'm talking about, this may work. And uh, again, I'm not 100% sure. I did go through, I had about eight of these type washers out there. I leaned them all over. Not one of them was leaking oil. So as soon as I do get a machine that's leaking oil, I will give this a try and see if it works. Uh, in the meanwhile, if any other guys would like to experiment with this idea, instead of replacing your transmission, you could give this a try. Put it down in the comments below if it did or didn't work, or if you have any other ideas that may solve this problem. I just think if we could solve the problem without having to take the transmission out of the machine, this would be a very feasible fix compared to, I don't know if you just take a look at a video of taking these transmissions out. Sometimes they're slightly rusted and you're literally taking sledgehammers, you're putting jacks on them, you're doing everything you possibly can to get this off of there. But that's it for this video, guys. If you like this, please like, please subscribe. And again, uh, I will make another follow-up video and hopefully this will be a quick fix for somebody. And if I get enough comments down below saying this worked, I'll go ahead and make another video right off the bat and we'll have a real inexpensive fix for the leaky oil transmission problem. All right, guys, we'll see you next time.